Hannah, I heard you're going to eat expensive crab hot pot. Why did you keep it a secret from me? What are you saying all of a sudden? I wasn't keeping it a secret from you. Don't lie, I heard from Susan that you were going to eat crab hot pot. Why does Susan know but I don't? That's unfair. What do you mean unfair? It's not that big of a deal. I'm going to eat with my son to celebrate his 10th birthday. What? Because my son loves crab. It's his halfway birthday to his becoming of age ceremony, so I thought we would have a bigger celebration this year. Oh, I see now. So it's for your son's birthday. And when is your son's birthday? Next weekend. No way! What a coincidence! My birthday is also next week. What? Your birthday? Yeah! Isn't that such a coincidence? Since that's the case, can I come along with you to eat as well? W wait. Megan, is your birthday really next week? A while ago, it was Stephanie's son's birthday, and I remember hearing you tagged along because it was your birthday too. Hmm, did that happen? I've already forgotten about something like that. Are you serious? I'm confident with my memory, and I clearly remember you saying that. Oh my gosh, I'm telling you, that wasn't the case already. If I said that to Stephanie, then that would mean I'd have two birthdays in a year. Yeah, that's why I'm pointing it out right now. You're obviously lying about one of the birthdays, right? I'm not lying! Are you saying you can't trust my word as your mom friend? Yeah, sorry, but I think you're lying, so... Wow, how rude of you to say that! That's called slander! I won't forgive you if you don't treat me to the hot pot! I see you really want to eat crab, huh? But I refuse. If you want to eat it that badly, use your own money and pay for it yourself. What are you saying? It's my birthday, though! It's my special birthday, so why would I pay for it myself? Then prove that it's your birthday next week. You have ways to prove it, right? Like showing me your driver's license? Why do I have to go through all of that? You can't trust me even though I'm your mom friend? That hurts. It's not about being mom friends, I just can't trust you. To think you have such a distorted view of me, you're so mean. Well, that's fine. If you're going to say all that to me, I'm just going to tag along with you. What do you mean, tag along? You can't just do that. Well, too late now. You were rude to your mom friend, so this is what you get. How did it end up like this? Anyways, I'm absolutely not bringing you with us, okay? It's too late. You said you made reservations on the weekend, right? And when you say crab hot pot, there's only the one in front of the station, so if I go there next weekend, I can eat crab hot pot. I'm going to be eating a lot. Thanks in advance. I told them your last name at the front, and they sat me down. I'm eating right now. I didn't make the reservation, so you're paying for me. I'm going to eat so much. We already went to eat yesterday, though. What? What are you saying? You only told them my last name? They let me through after I only told them your last name, though. I'm not lying. They must have made a mistake and led you to the table, then. Anyway, we already had our meal yesterday, so... What? What? But today's the start to the weekend. Like you said, I came on the weekend. What are you saying? I think you've misunderstood something. I said weekend, but I meant my husband's. My husband doesn't work regular working days, so in our household, our weekend actually means weekday. Wh what? Why would you confuse me like that? You made me misunderstand. Um, even if you get mad at me for that? What? Do you have something to say? Rather than that, I was able to get through using your last name. Why did that happen? Well, obviously there are many people with the same surname, so I'm sure they coincidentally made a reservation on the weekend. You must have taken someone else's reservation. No way! That can't be! That's too much of a coincidence! Well, I think you should confirm that first. Well, I just confirmed with the server and the reservation was under Anna Roberts. Not you, Hannah? That's what I told you. What are you going to do? You took someone else's reservation. I... I don't know! I can't do anything! This is all your fault! I was planning on taking your reservation! Well, I'm not sure what you want me to say. I would advise you to just pay for your food and leave before the people who made the reservation come in. You're troubling the restaurant too, so you should just explain your situation to them and come up with a solution together. Why do I have to do something like that? I did nothing wrong! You're the one who's in the wrong! I can't believe you're saying this when you're in this situation. Anyone who sees the situation can tell that you're the one who's wrong. What? It's your fault because you told me you were coming on a weekend. 
Um, I'm pretty sure you're in the wrong for stealing someone else's reservation. Shut up! What are you going to do about this? I had another business after eating two! You should just explain this situation to the restaurant. I'm sure if you apologize sincerely and pay for your food, they'll forgive you. But I didn't do anything wrong, so why should I apologize? You should be the one to apologize to them and tell them your story for being so confusing. I'm literally at home right now, and there's no reason for me to do that. There is a reason! You brought me trouble, so you should pay up. I didn't even bring money since I was going to make you pay for me. You ate when you had no money? Well then, you definitely won't be forgiven for doing that. Well, it's my birthday today! If it's your birthday, you can do anything! Don't you know that? You obviously can't do whatever you want. And I heard from Stephanie, you told her that it was your birthday, so you made her treat you for dinner. And not just her. You even did it to Tracy and Yvonne. You told them it was your birthday and made them treat you. Ugh, you found out? Well, whatever. Who cares if you find out? It's not like I'm committing a crime. I only had people treat me to food. That's something everyone does. No, they don't. I even heard that you got a few hundred dollars worth in food by telling people it was your birthday. You've been doing the same thing to all the mom friends, so I bet the amount of money you've extorted from others must be a lot. Who knows? I've never calculated the amount before. Rather than that, hurry up and come to the restaurant. You're the one who's going to pay for my food. I can't even with you. Do you even understand the situation you're in right now? Someone's reservation was stolen because of you. To think they're going to be asked to pay for you the moment they walk in? That's just pitiful. Wha- What? If you pity them, you should come here and pay then. Don't push this on me. I'm not pushing this on you. I'm saying it's natural for you to be the one to pay. Why are you acting like the victim here? But because I am! I'm in this situation because you deceived me! Like I said, I didn't deceive you. You just jumped to conclusions yourself. And if you did come to my son's birthday dinner, I would be the victim, you know. So what? It's my birthday, so it's obvious that you should be the one to treat me! How long are you going to keep up this act? I know you're lying already. Just letting you know, but I already told the other mom friends about this, and they're all fed up by you, so they want nothing to do with you from now on. Wha- What? Why did you do that? It's like I'm hated by everyone now! It's not like. You are hated by everyone. Well, a lot of people lost money because of you, so you can't blame them, can you? What do you mean by that? This is a joke! I never did anything to be hated like this! You used everyone's money to eat for free, right? That's why you're hated. Why would I be hated just for that? Everyone should want to eat with me, and if I tell them it's my birthday, everyone should celebrate it and treat me too. Where exactly do you get all this confidence from? None of us have ever wanted to celebrate your birthday. Wh- Why not? Because every time we go to eat, you always eat as much as you can, and when we go somewhere expensive, you always seem to say it's your birthday. Everyone's always realized what you're doing and have been wanting you to stop already. Wha- What? No way! I didn't know everyone was thinking of me like that! That's too bad. No one wants to eat with you anymore, so your birthday plans will no longer work against us. I- I don't want that! If I can't get money through the other mom friends, I can't support my lover! What? What's with that? Huh? Oh! No, no, ignore what I just said! I can't just end here what you just said. What do you mean by support your lover? Um, nothing. If you're not going to tell me, I'll tell the other mom friends about what I just heard. Stop! Don't tell them. W well, about half a year now. I've been dating this guy ten years younger than me. He doesn't have enough money to play around, so I've been supporting him financially. But, Megan, aren't you a housewife? That money isn't coming from your husband's income, is it? Well, well, it can't be helped, right? I have no income, so it has to come from my husband's. I was cutting down on food costs, but I've hit my limits, so I thought I would try to eat off of other people, and my mom's friends were my best bet. Okay, but there's no need for you to do that only when we go to expensive restaurants, right? Well, there was one time when it was my actual birthday, and Yvonne said she was going to an expensive restaurant, so I tagged along. From then, I've been unable to go back. I see. I have no words. So in the end, it's your fault for being in this situation because you decided to have an affair. Why would you say that? 
Think about it, though. He's a hot guy in his 20s. Wouldn't you want to have fun, too? I thought you would be able to understand my feelings. I could never understand you. What you're doing is betraying your husband. Not only did you betray him, but you also inconvenienced everyone else. Does your husband know that you've been eating off of other people? Of course not! If he finds out about that, then he might find out about my affair, too! That's true. Well, I had a discussion with the other mom friends earlier about your wrongdoings, and we decided to tell your husband about it. What? What are you saying? Remember when we had that teacher-parent interviews and your husband was also there? We got his contact information from that, so we decided we would let him know that you've been extorting money from us. Don't do that! My husband is going to ask why I'm doing that. If he presses me about it, I'm sure he'll find out about my affair too. Then I'd have to get a divorce. Do you plan to ruin someone else's family? I'm not the reason for that. You're the one having the affair, so you're ruining it on your own. Don't put the blame on me. No, no, no. If you don't say anything, then nothing will be ruined. Please don't tell my husband. I'm begging you. I'm sorry, but your husband already knows about it. What? What have you done? But wait, Megan. Your husband is a little different. He already knew about the fact that you were extorting money from us. What? Don't be surprised, okay? Your husband hired a detective and found out about your affair. What? A detective? Since when? He thought your actions were suspicious a few months ago, so he hired one. That's too bad for you, huh? To think this would happen. Wha- Wait! My husband hasn't even contacted me yet! I'm sure he'll come if you wait a bit longer. What you should be doing right now is not waiting for your husband's call, but instead, apologizing to the Roberts family who made the reservation. That's the least of my concerns right now! It's about whether or not my family will be ruined! But that has nothing to do with the Roberts, right? It is a fact that you stole the Roberts family's reservation, so... Well, well then, can you just go deal with that situation, please? I'm going to be busy talking to my husband about this. What? Why do I have to be the one to do something about it? You put yourself into this situation. You can't just rely on me like this. But, but I never thought I would be in this situation. I've been playing around thinking my husband didn't know anything, you know? And, and yet... Well, I understand that you're in a tough situation, but... This is a situation you created on your own, so I can't help you with anything. Well, but if you're asked to pay for consolation money and end up getting divorced, we decided we wouldn't press you to pay us back, at the very least. If you're going to pity me, then can't you at least help me try to stop the divorce or something? Use your head for that instead! Sorry, but I can't do that. This is all because of your own actions, so you'll have to give up on that. Well, do your best. No, no way! Why do you need to say something like that? I just wanted to play around with another guy. I didn't do anything wrong. Why is this happening to me? This is the worst. Until the end, Megan kept telling me how unfair I was and how this is wrong, but after a while, the Roberts family who made the reservation came and they were extremely furious. Megan's husband arrived at the restaurant and they came to a resolution, but after they got home, her husband showed her the proof of the affair and demanded for consolation money and a divorce. The husband took their child and Megan now has to live alone. The other moms and I decided we don't want anything to do with her, so we kicked her out of the group. With Megan now gone, we're now able to have peaceful gatherings where no one will ever be extorted by Megan again.